Hey, welcome back to another exciting edition of uh, Project 41. Uh, today is uh, basically going to be a garage therapy day for me. I've had a few things going on in my personal life, nothing I want to get into here. Uh, but I need a little time to myself in here, so the garage is a little bit of a mess at the moment anyway. So I'm going to be starting off with a little basic cleanup, a little reorganization. And uh, and I'm going to work on uh, something easy. I don't want anything technically difficult today. Today is all about relaxation. Yeah, as you can see, I've had multiple projects going on. I've been collecting more parts. I've got almost everything I need now. Build the brakes. Got some power tools here. Miscellaneous chemicals. Here's an interesting green and off-white um, outdoor rug that is going to be cut up and made into my uh, trunk liner. That's going to be today's actual project. I'm going to be sanding and painting the inside of the trunk and getting it ready uh, to be lined. Got a lot of cleanup to do in the garage. Got house projects going on as well. Uh, as you can see there there has been some progress in the front compartment. <laughs> been tearing the motor down. Um, Basically what this is, this is a junkyard motor, okay? Uh, it had been sitting for a very long time. Um, actually, after it was cut loose from the 79 Cadillac. Now, the motor itself does not appear to have a lot of uh, miles on it. As a matter of fact... You can tell by looking at the spark plugs, it ran pretty cleanly. It wasn't burning any oil, it wasn't misfiring. The plugs are all in very clean condition. They all look about the same. So this engine was healthy at one time. But it is sticking right now. It is not seized. There is a big difference between a junkyard engine that sat outside and, and, and got a little sticky and an engine that's seized. Um, obviously, I am still going to pull the pan and inspect all the uh, bearings. But uh, in the meantime, uh, the engine has been sitting with a combination of Rust Buster, PB Blaster, and... Uh, actually, and Marvel Mystery Oil uh, poured and sprayed in and on everything, and I'll be hitting that again later. And then, at some point, I will work on getting this thing to crack loose, and we can take it from there. As you can see, I still have the, ex the uh, stock exhaust manifolds on it, which are set up for a single exhaust, which I'm not going to keep. Um, I may not use the um, motor mount kits I got. I've been uh, talking to my buddy Lenny, and we're thinking about uh, welding some plates so we can move the engine and the transmission back more than a mere three and a half inches here. And also for, 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 for peace of mind, I mean, the kits do look strong enough and stable enough, I suppose, but I don't know. We shall see, I suppose, kitties. We shall see. And, of course, everything is in a state of disarray over here. I've got my pile of old Cadillac parts. Mm hmm 99% of which will be sold. Maybe all of them. 
Um, that radiator, I don't even know where it came from. came with the car <laughs> when I bought it from Lenny. I'm going to have to get to that engine hoist eventually. So I'm thinking the caddy parts might be next to get boxed up. And uh, I'll take her from there. Okay, campers, it's been a hell of a day. Had a lot of interruptions. Like I said, personal chaos. Don't want to get into it. But I did get a little bit of work done. As you can see, I've got my light up over here. Um, and the PVC rod, <laughs> it's just a safety precaution because I was going to be climbing in the trunk. And, well, <laughs> You have no idea how much that trunk lid weighs. If it comes down on me, it's breaking bones, I can tell you that. But as you can see, I did my sanding and I elected to use a, uh, a special paint. They call it Miracle Paint. It's basically the same as POR 15. Um, even after I sanded down to bare metal, it was slightly rust colored and there are a couple of teeny little holes I found that I'm, I'm going to have to patch. Um, but overall, I'm pleased. Overall, I'm pleased. At least I can say, honestly, I got something done today. Here you can see I've started to collect canned goods. I've got my undercoating for the chassis. Well, first thing will be the uh, rear axle once I tend to it. Undercoating, basically. And the spray adhesive I'm going to be using when I line the trunk. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Yes, I am going to be using just a tiny bit of that in places, campers, and maybe some fiberglass repair patches, but nothing major. It is not going to be a Bondo buggy, um, but it will have tiny traces here and there. Even the Cranbrook did. And again, here is my outdoor uh, <laughs> carpet, outdoor rug from Wally World. There should be enough here to do the whole trunk. If not, they're cheap enough. I can easily go down to Wally World and get another. There's one of my relocated pile of caddy parts. Most of that's going to be scrap, honestly, except maybe the fuel injection intake that I can put up for sale, I suppose. There's the galley pan, the uh, intake manifold. The original bucket hole parts that came out of the trunk when I brought the car here. And there's the original Cadillac fuel injection air cleaner housing. And of course, the front of the car the front bumper that was inside the car. There's the grill. There are some bumper guards also in the trunk of the car. Got this area cleared out so I can get to my engine hoist. And so there you have it campers. Nothing much has changed since I lived in my parents' house in Westchester County and tore shit apart with my friends. <laughs> well, this has been my little bit of garage therapy, at least the parts I could document. Um, Hopefully the next installment will be a little more fun to watch. Um, but I, uh, I made some forward progress since the last time. 
I posted a video here. So, there you have it.